What's going on guys, it's Trinity Creations. My name is Miguel, this is Cinequil, and we're gonna show you how to feed your Crested Gecko the right way. Step number one is the variety of food that you're using and the consistency of the water and the food uh, ratio. So basically, when I first started doing this, I was always using just one flavor and I would always put a bunch of water. I always wanted it really watery because I was afraid that my gecko would kind of like have that peanut butter effect where you kind of, you feel like you can't breathe, but that's actually, you know, um, it's actually better to put a little bit more food in there and have more of like a ketchup kind of consistency. That way your gecko gets a little bit more food in his system than just water. And I, I noticed that sometimes he would prefer the Zoomed food and sometimes he would prefer the Pangea. But honestly, guys, just kind of mix it up. See what your gecko likes um, and always make that consistency perfect for them, for enough for them to eat, but not to have it chunky to where it's hard for them to eat it like a peanut butter. Step number two is husbandry. It's really important, guys, to keep your gecko at the right temperatures, to keep your gecko at the right humidity. Always have a hygrometer, always have a thermometer handy. That way you can use it and see if you're keeping your gecko right. My gecko is still pretty small, so I have them in a 10 gallon tank. Um, it is a vertical setup with an iHeart Geckos conversion kit. Link is in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and pick it up. I do have a bioactive setup and I have plenty of places for my gecko to hide, plenty of places for my gecko to feel safe. And when I'm sleeping at night, I make sure all my lights are off. Crested geckos are nocturnal animals, and I feel like the less light that you have on at nighttime, the better for them. If you can have them in a separate room, like a reptile room, that is perfect, that way all lights are off. But if you have to have them in your room, make sure that you at least have a night light or you light a candle to see in the dark when you're getting ready for bed. That way your gecko can have more of a better transition between daytime and nighttime. They are nocturnal animals once again, and they will only eat at night when you're asleep. So if you don't see them eating, that's fine. Step number three is looking for droppings. Your gecko will tell you if it's eating when you see if there's droppings in the enclosure. The best way to do this, especially with a baby gecko, is by laying out paper towel um, at the bottom, you know, plain white paper towel to see, you know, is my gecko defecating at a, you know, at a steady rate. And always, you know, mark the days that you feed them because you only, I only feed my geckos at least three to four times a week. I don't feed them all the time because in the wild, they're not gonna eat every single night. But your gecko will tell you if it's eating when you see their droppings. Quick tip guys before I end the video, another way to feed your gecko, make sure it's... And just another quick tip guys before I end the video because I know it's going to be showing up in the comments. It's always good to feed your geckos insects. In the wild there's insects everywhere and I'm pretty sure crested geckos in the wild. They do eat insects. I feed my gecko insects once a week. I usually use those little tiny do dubia roaches or baby crickets. Um, he tends to go for the crickets a little more just because, you know, it's more of a hunting kind of uh, instinct that I guess awakens in, in little Cinequil. But switch it up, move it around, see what your gecko lights. Every gecko is different and I'm pretty sure your gecko will be just fine. Click here if you wanna see my very first bioactive enclosure and subscribe if you want to see me make an updated bioactive enclosure with a 20 gallon tank. That's it for me guys, see you later.